Maki. Maki refers to techniques used to defend body parts from opponents' attacks. Maki in Taekwondo is not merely used in defense, but with training of the hand blades and the wrists. It can be another attack technique by hitting the opponent's weak spots while blocking. Maki is divided according to the body part being defended. Ogul Maki is from the crown to the clavicle. Mumtong Maki is from the clavicle to the pelvis area. And Are Maki is from the pelvis area to the soles of the foot. According to the direction, blocking from the outside in is an An Maki and blocking from the inside out is Bakat Maki and Yap Maki. The starting points are the waist area when defending the face, the trunk level to defend the body, and the shoulder line to defend the lower body. When blocking, all motion should be smooth, but the finish should be strong with a turn. Three reasons this can prevent injuries and the areas of contact more broad, so that the shock to the defended part will be spread out. Also, turning makes the area of movement larger to enable more forceful attacks to the opponent. In an anmaki or bakatmaki that needs bended elbows, the elbows should point to the floor. Are maki. This defense move uses the outside of the wrist to defend the lower part with bakat maki technique. The blocking fist is placed about two fist distance above the femoral region of the leg in front. The other fist is placed near the waist facing up. To block, lift the blocking fist to the opposite shoulder level and turn the fist toward the cheek. The other hand with the fist facing up should be at the center line of the body. And at this time, the defending arm should stay still. Mumpung Maki. This move is to defend your torso with the outer wrist by using an maki technique. When inward blocking with the outer wrist, the elbow should be bent to about 90 to 120 degrees. The blocking fist should be at shoulder level and the wrist should be kept straight. The other wrist should be near the waist in the form of a bent fist. If the blocking fist is on the same side as the foot in front, this is called mumpung maki. And if the blocking fist is on the opposite side as the foot in front, it is called mumpong anmaki. In all mumpong anmaki moves, the wrist should be at the center of the body. In case of bakat maki, the outer wrist is placed beside the shoulder. Olgur Maki. This move uses the outer wrist in a Chukyo Maki technique to protect the face. The blocking wrist should be at the center of the face, located about a fist distance away from the forehead. The other wrist should be placed near the waist. The blocking arm should be placed under the other forearm in the form of a bent fist. The other fist should be facing the floor, starting at the chest. Okoromaki. Cross your wrists and make the backs of each hand face each other. The hand that is on the same side as the foot in front should be under or facing outward. Okoromaki starts near the waist, on the opposite side of the foot in front. Finish by placing your hands at the center. The examples of Okoromaki are Are Okoromaki and Ogul Okoromaki. This move can be done with the fists or hand blades.
মন্থং বাকাত মাকে This move uses the outer wrist to protect the trunk with a bakat maki technique. Start with the blocking fist about a fist distance below the opposite elbow. At the same time, the other fist on opposite side should be on the other side with the back of the fist facing up, slightly away from the shoulder of the blocking arm. Face the back of the blocking fist toward the body with the end of the fist chest level. Place the opposite wrist near the waist, with the palm of the fist facing up. Montong Godoromaki This move uses the outer wrist to protect the trunk with the bakat maki technique. Montong godoro maki is like sonor maki, except instead of a hand blade, a fist is used. The blocking fist faces the body and the other fist is facing up. The blocking arm's elbow and the assisting fist should not be touching. Hicho Maki. With Hicho Maki, the hands are crossed, then pushed apart to loosen the opponent's grip. When using this move while in Naran Hi Sogi or Juchum Sogi, the blocking left hand starts on the outside, and when stepping forward, the hand on the same side as that foot should face outward. When push blocking the lower body, the hand starts at the shoulder, then moves near the thigh about two fists distance away. In case of Mumtong Hecho Maki, the two fists are crossed at shoulder level. The fist should not go past the sides of the shoulder. Examples of Hecho Maki are Are Hecho Maki Anpalmok Muntong Hecho Maki Bankat Palmok Muntong Hecho Maki Godoro Are Maki With the outside wrist, block the lower body with bakat maki technique. Palm of the blocking fist should look toward the face in front of the shoulder. The back of the other fist should look toward the face and raised up to ear level. The blocking hand below should be placed near the femur, about two fists distance away, and the assisting wrist in front of the solar plexus. Are Yap Maki This move uses the outside wrist to protect the lower body with Yap Maki technique. From Juchum Sogi, block in front of the femur, about two fists distance apart. The blocking hand should block the lower body, at the same time swing the other hand to the waist side of the blocking hand, then pull back toward the waist. This move uses the inside wrist to protect the face with Yap Maki. Start with the Jagan Dorjogi. The blocking arm passes the filtrum 
and is placed at the side of the shoulder. The other arm should be at the same level with the blocking arm's elbow. The assisting hand is placed in front of the chest on the opposite side, with the fist facing down. The back of the blocking fist should face outside, and the lower line of the wrist should be at the level of the philtra. Heicho Santorumaki This move uses the inner wrist to protect the face with the Heicho Maki technique. Cross the fists at the solar plexus and raise them, and block by pushing the fists, sideways in front of the face. When finished, the fist should be at the temple level. The wrist at the philtrum level and the backs of the fists should face outwards. On Parma Mumtong Bakat Maki. This move uses the inner wrist to protect the body by blocking outward. The blocking fist is parallel to the shoulder. The wrist is at the side of the shoulder, and the palm of the blocking fist should face the body. Leave about a fist distance at the armpits of the blocking arm, and stick the wrist of the other fist to the waist. Anparmok Mumtong Godoromaki. This is the same as Anparmok Mumtong Bakatmaki. It is the Bakatmaki technique with assist. Anparmok Mumtong Bitromaki. This is the same as Anparmok Mumtong Bakatmaki, but the torso is turned so that the blocking arm shoulder will be in front. The blocking wrist should be at shoulder level, and the opposite fist placed at the waist with the fist facing up. Maki. This move uses the hand blade to block the torso with the Bakat Maki technique. The palm of the blocking hand should face up, while the palm of the opposite hand is facing backward. Lower the arm with the elbows bent so that the tips of the opposite hand are at shoulder level. Pass the blocking hand by the nose and pull the opposite hand toward the solar plexus. The poom of Sonar Maki has the palm of the blocking hand facing outward, the fingertips at shoulder level, the wrist kept straight, and assisting wrist placed in front of the solar plexus. The hand blade should not be touching the body. Sonnar Arimaki. This move uses hand blades to block the lower body with the Pakat Maki technique. The palm of the blocking hand should look toward the face. And the hand blade at shoulder level. Lower other arm with the elbow slightly bent, so that palm of the other hand is at the back with the wrist at shoulder level. Place the back of the blocking hand blade face up two fist distance in front of the solar plexus of the front foot. 
Keep the wrist straight. The wrist of the assisting hand blade is placed in front of the solar plexus. The hand blade should not be touching the body. Han Sonnar Orgur Bitromaki. Use one hand blade and twist the torso to protect the face. The hand blade should be at the filtrous level. Han Sonnar Momtong Maki. Block the same way as Mong Tong Maki, but just change to the blocking hand blade. Han Sona Arimaki. The technique is the same as Arimaki, but change the blocking hand to the hand blades. Raise the blocking hand blade to shoulder level, with the palm of the blocking hand blade facing the opposite cheek. Straighten the opposite hand with the back of the hand facing up, so that the hand faces the thigh on the blocking side. Sonnal Dung Mom Tong Maki. Start with the back of the blocking hand facing up, while the palm of the other hand is facing the body. The method is the same as Sonnal Mom Tong Maki. The poom has the palm of the blocking hand facing the body, and the back of the assisting hand facing up, with the wrist in front of the solar plexus. Batang Son Montong Nulo Maki. Place Batang Son in front of the solar plexus with the back of the hand facing up. The distance between the blocking hand and the body should be about the size of a fist. Place the other wrist near the waist with the wrist bent back. Then raise the blocking hand and press downward to block with the palm. Tsumaki uses at least two body parts, such as wrist, hand blade, fist together to block. Santur Maki. With the blocking stance, the wrists are at the filtrous level, and the palms of the two fists are facing each other. The hand that will deliver Anpar Mok Orgur Yap Maki begins with the back of the fist facing forward at face level. The hand that will perform Bakat Palmo Ogo Yapmaki begins with the back of the fist facing toward the body at face level. Then twist the torso to block simultaneously. The poom of Santul Maki is a Juchum Sogi with arms in the An Palmo Ogo Yapmaki and Bakat Palmo Ogo Yapmaki. Wesantul Maki. The hand blocking the upper part begins with the starting stance of An Palmok Mum Tong Bakat Maki. The hand blocking the lower part begins with the starting position of Are Maki. The lower blocking arm blocks at the lateral part of the thigh, about two fists distance away. The upper blocking arm has the wrist at filtrous level.
손날 외산 털 막기. This move is the same as Weisan Tulmaki, but replace the fists with the hand blades. The fingertips of the arm blocking the upper part should be placed at the top of the head. Kawimaki. The starting point of Kawimaki is the elbow of the arm blocking. The body is bent. So that the fist is at the waist on the side of the hand blocking the lower part. Then cross your arms at the same time to block. Huangso Maki. In this move, the two fists simultaneously protect the face. Raise the two fists from the lower stomach with the palm of the fist facing up. Turn the wrist so that the backs of the fists face the forehead on top of the face. There should be a gap the size of a fist between fists and head. Son bada godoro bakat maki. From the anpalmok mumtong bakat maki, take the fingertips of the open hand. And put them lightly on the outer wrist of the blocking hand. Gumgang maki. This move is composed of under and face blocking. The hand that blocks under starts from the starting point of Are Maki. The face blocking hand starts at the starting point of Ogur Maki. When doing Dikubi, the lower part blocking hand should be placed by the thigh of the front leg. Sonnal Gumgang Maki. This uses the same method of Gumgang Maki. The hand is replaced with the hand blades. Are Pyojok Maki. Inner block the target palm with the inner wrist of the opposite arm. Batang Son Montong Maki. Open the hand. Use the bottom of the palm to protect the trunk. The wrist should be bent. Batang Son Godoro Montong Maki. In the Batang Son Montong Maki, place the back of the opposite fist under the blocking arm's elbow. Kudo Oligi. Open the arm slightly toward the side. Leave a gap of about the size of a fist between the wrist and solar plexus, and draw up from the bottom. <laughs> 